No one has control of Hong Kong streets. Yesterday, protesters were under siege at university. Tonight, they laid theirs at a police station, setting up production and supply lines. Bricks, petrol bombs, ferried to the front. The police broke out. The demonstrators scattered. They trained their weapons on us. There were no protesters around. This is a new, more dangerous phase. Protesters are trying to shut down the city, and it's working. Students from the Chinese mainland were today escorted across the border. And schools tomorrow will be shut, the first time this has happened. Every one of us must cooperate together to tell the others that tolerating violence might encourage it. If we continue to foster the violence in Hong Kong, the consequence is unthinkable. It is an ominous warning, but all of this was unthinkable at the start of the summer. This is just outside the university and they've made an absolutely huge roadblock. It's the fruit of an afternoon's work and you can see how far it stretches strewn with bricks in this formation. This is a new tactic actually, it stops police advancing but it also means protesters can smash a brick into two, make it easier to throw at any advancing police. It's all part of this new determination, these new tactics, this new energy from protesters. So Hong Kong prepares for yet more violence. Tom Cheshire, Sky News, Hong Kong.